Woo! Exciting day here, guys. It's RCHD 2017. Coming to you from my studio. We've got a new box in the studio. Skydancer V913 from WL Toys. I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing video on this helicopter. I'm gonna go ahead and examine the helicopter's box. Got a little bit of scuff there. Nothing too big. Shouldn't be a problem. This helicopter, I'm going to do a review on it, so go ahead and find that video if you want a review. Let's get to it. Four channel helicopter, ages 14 and up. And this sucker is here to hide. First thing I noticed. Gigahertz WL Toys transmitter. These knobs smooth like butter. Oh goodness. I like the screen on it, got trims on it. Nice looking remote. Charger. Let's get to the part we've been waiting for. There you have it. There the beauty is. Oh wow. 27 inches from here to here. That's that's a big helicopter. Okay, let's get rid of this. And these. Woo! I'm psyched right now. This helicopter, like I said, $102.90, I think is what it was. Not bad. Pop the canopy off. There's the canopy. Now look at the size comparison. Let me get over here so you can see this. That's my hand. Give you an idea how big this helicopter is. That thing sits on my hand like that. It's as long as my hand. Holy cow, it's as long as my forearm. Big canopy. A helicopter. 1500 ma. Lipo battery for this thing. I don't know if you can see it. It's got two different plugs. I don't like that right off the bat. It's got a charger plug and then it's got the plug that plugs in this side. Helicopter. Look at this. Look at that balance beam on that beast. Solid steel balance beam. Your control panel. Let me get up here so you can see this. That control panel right there. It's wiggly, man. I don't like that. Might have to change that. Test the spring on this. Pretty good spring action on it. If you drop hard, it should be good. Four channel helicopter, like I said earlier. So that means you get forward, backwards, you get bank left, bank right, 360, and up and down. This helicopter is huge. It's a giant. Look at the gears on this thing. I like it. It's got a metal pinion. It shouldn't strip too easy. It's got a 380 motor in it. After all my research I've done, that's what it says. It has 380, the, the uh, FJ645 would be the next upgrade for this. It's in the F series. It's not even made by WL Toys, though, but it fits in here if you want to upgrade it. It's got a gyro inside. Keep this thing balanced out nice. I'm noticing a few things that I really like about this helicopter. Let's see if you guys. I like the space in the back. Should give you a lot of room to work if you need it. A lot of room for extras. I like the metal. Look at this. It's got metal body. That's gonna get hot though, I think is a problem. We're gonna have to figure out a cooling system for it. Things I don't like. Really and truthfully, this thing is going to be hard to fly to learn. Okay? It's going to be very hard to fly. Put the canopy back on. Goes on like this. 
pop these bottom ones on like that. Then go ahead and move this. Pop those top ones on. Bada bing, bada boom. And your canopy is back on. There's your helicopter. First thing is first. Is it worth the money? Right now, I say yes, it's worth the money completely. Off of looks and such. I like the tail beam on it. The only thing I don't like is how it's hollow. I know that they gotta save weight. But let's see if you can find these dents here. There's a dent right there. You can't see it, I don't think. From shipping. Don't ask me how that got there. That's no good. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. We're gonna go ahead and go to the transmitter. Boom! 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. W.O. Toys. First impressions on this thing. It's huge. My hands barely fit over it. Look at this. It's gigantic. Okay? Smooth knobs on it. You got right and left hand. Flip the switch, and you got left hand, or right handed throttle. Just flip it. You want left handed throttle. That's American version. Okay? Pretty nice little machine here. It takes four AA batteries right there. Accelerator buttons there. That is a pretty nice transmitter. All in all, right now, before flying, I say it's worth it. So upgrades I probably will wind up doing to this helicopter. I'm putting a lipo battery in it. This isn't gonna cut it. Probably gonna put a bigger motor in it. The third and final thing I'll probably do to it. I want better skids. These skids, they're nice skids and all, but they're pretty flimsy. I like the, I like that. They're just too flimsy. Okay. The third, no, fourth thing, I'm sorry, fourth. That'll probably change. I might even shorten this thing down. I think the tail beam, the tail boom on is too long. I mean, that's as long as my forearm. Look at that. Final thing I'll probably do to it. Oh, the other thing I don't like. These gears. Let's see if you can see it. The gear is right here. If you fly that, I have a feeling that's going to get very, very, very dirty and it's very exposed. I'm going to have to figure out a way to change that. Okay. Um, remote. I like to be probably a little bit slimmer. I don't like the ergonomics of it, how it fits in my hand. If they can figure out a better way for that. Okay. Got a battery. Lipo. Got to have the lipo battery. This isn't going to cut it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, leave comments. Other than that, thanks.